Many people um, are often um, under the assumption when they hear the phrase medical aid in dying, the assumptions range from, oh, it's suicide, uh, it's euthanasia. It is not. People, like any other option, bring their own understanding and misconceptions. I think about medical aid and dying in this way. This is a personal perspective. Um, and each person is responsible and it is available for them to take medical aid and dying uh, in their own uh, way that they can. It is an option. While it varies in some ways from state to state, a physician must first of all diagnose a terminal illness. And then there is a prescribed plan of action that the person must self-administer the um, medication that is a life ending. And I have to admit that um, like most people, I had initial misconceptions, misunderstandings, um, and uh, since becoming an advocate, I learned a lot about uh, those misconceptions, which I now share, which I think are important. For example, in order to um, opt for medical aid in dying, one must be at least 18 years of age, uh, be able to self-administer the medication, have a terminally ill diagnosis from a physician, and also to have their um, health care directive in place, and obviously to live in a state that has passed a law allowing for medical aid in dying. Um, you can't do anything as a foundation. Uh, it's important to become informed uh, in a way that is um, accurate so that there's no misinformation uh, conveyed. Compassion and Choices as a nonprofit entity has been around for uh, I think three or four decades um, and um, it's the work of the uh, entity has been tremendous. I mean 40 years and and now there's um, less than a dozen states that have passed uh, legislation. Important, but it shows and indicates how, how tedious the work and advocacy is. I, for one, um, am glad to have the option of um, uh, compassion and choices and medical aid in dying as a resident of, of, of Washington, D.C. I like to have the ability to have option for my uh, end of life care. My name is Irene Jackson Brown. I am a gerontologist and I'm also an advocate for, a strong advocate for compassion and choices.